Seacom's made this significant investment into the DFA network from Johannesburg um, into Imtanzini onwards into Durban because we've seen a need in the market for diverse supply. So by we ourselves needed additional capacity between these two locations to meet our customer requirements. But instead of buying that on existing networks, we felt by building or partnering with DFA to build an alternative network, we had more diverse networks in place. Now, by blending together all this different infrastructure, what you actually end up with is a far more reliable services between the A point and the B point. And that's why we went ahead and made this investment right now. Okay. Um, the strategic um, uh, market changes that are taking place is that we anticipate in three to five years customers will require 100 gigabit Ethernet type services in their core network to cope with the incredible demand that's coming through from a data perspective. As the market shifts to more cloud-based services and shifts towards um, um, uh, such as storage in the cloud, uh, video and, and peering and so forth, that really puts a lot of pressure on core networks and by having 100 gigabit Ethernet between the two locations, it, it allows our customers to meet the demand of the consumers at the end. Um, so furthermore, I think we're very proud of this investment because um, aside from, from Telcom and BBI that actually runs the current network infrastructure between this, this is the next link in place. So once again, we're trying to be visionary and look ahead of market uh, demand and prepare ourselves for that.